What's up, welcome to Bears to Trees here, and it's on by Dirt AK. Nathan here. <clears throat> What's up? We can just do some things real quick, now I'll get into this. It's not Pokemon Showdown, but since my computer likes being an idiot, uh, yeah. Uh, hang on a second. Okay. Alright. So, welcome to whatever this is. Now. Uh, yeah, just leave, whatever. Alright, so. What we're doing today is something that you may not have expected, you may have never seen before. This is the new series I was talking about in a video that I made earlier yesterday. Um, there was a new series from the channel. This is it. How to copy my Pokemon teams. We will be starting in Galar and going all the way back. Pretty much, I will give you the move sets, the abilities, um, move sets, abilities, Pokemon, uh, items, if I can. Also, any links to find any TMs or TRs in Galar's case, link is in the description down below. Now, I am using Pokemon Database. This place is amazing. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first Pokemon that you're going to... So, this will be a four-parter for the Galar series. There will be Sword, Shield, the Sword DLC, and the Shield DLC. The Sword and Shield DLC will come out after the DLCs come out. But the Sword and Shield, okay, right now. So, let's start off with how to copy my team for Pokemon Sword. Now, let's start off with the starter... Italian. Italian, we want to have the ability Torrent because Sniper is not available yet. Move set wise, we are going to want Snipe Shot. A the special the uh, special attacking move and signature move of Italian. It's for obvious stab, or for those that are new to the team, a special type attack bonus. So it gets a 50% power boost. Now, you may be thinking, generic move sets that you generally see from Teleon mainly consist of physical moves. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Instead, we are going to bring in the special attack side, which is its best one. Now, we are going to get some... Not gonna stumble. Uh, flying grass type coverage with the next move, Air Slash. A 75 base power, 95% accurate flying type move. Also has 30% chance to flinch, so and odd help. It Acrobatics TM can be found. In Bologna, I will leave a link in the description down below to where you can find it. Yeah. Next move. We are going to want Shadow Ball. It is a TR. Shadow Ball is a 80 base power, 100% accurate, ghost type special move. That can be learned via TR. It is TR33. Um, basically go in most ghost dens or go look at the watch raider. And the last move we want is Ice Beam. Ice Beam is a 90 base power, 100% accurate move. Ice special with a 10% chance of freezing the target. Also, I forgot to mention Shadow Ball down here. It also has a chance of lowering special defense, which is what you want, because of Inteleon's special attack. Maybe thinking, isn't Hydro Pomp good? Yes, but you can get so much better with Snipeshot. Sobble, you can obviously get at the start of the game, so you don't have to worry. Next up is Pokemon that is my absolute favorite Gen 8 Pokemon, that being Corviknight. Rookity Q 
can be found. I don't subscribe my videos. <laughs> Rook D can be found. Slumbering Will in Route 1, along with 2, 3, and the most Oak River Bank. I'm being honest, get on Route 1 because of this move right here. Power Trip. Because the signature move of Crocodile back in Gen 7, and the more you use it, the bigger the power. It's like Rage of Fury Cutter. The more you use it, and continuously, the more power you get. But, anyways, for Corviknight, we want Flying and Steel Stab. So, for Flying, we want Drill Pick. An 80 base power for 100% accurate Flying Physical Move. Um, it learns it at level 34. Okay. Uh, also, Brave Bird's an option. You can learn at level 50. But I don't personally recommend it. Mainly due to because... Well, the 120 base power is really good. It's the... Recoil damage I don't like. Fly's also an option, but... Eh, I just think Drill Pack's better. For Corviknight, in this case. Now, for Steel, you can go with Steel Wing for an option. Which is why I tend to go for with Steel moves. But, um, we're not gonna use that. Instead, we are gonna use something better. Iron Head. A base, 80 power. 100% accurate, physical steel move, 30% chance to flinch. It's good. You can go for steel wing or iron head. I just personally would go for iron head. It is a TR. Pretty much good luck with any steel type dents you can find. And good luck with the watch raider. That's pretty much where it is. I'm just looking for the. Pretty much just look for. The TMs will be in the link description. TRs, just find yourself. Hang on, just let me do something here. Uh... Okay. And we want to have a TM for U turn and assurance. TM56 is U turn. It can be found in a Glimwood Tangle. Uh, I will leave a link in the description so that way you guys can find it. And then last up is for TMs for Corviknight is Assurance, which well, you turn up 70 base power, 100% accurate bug move, good. Assurance 60 base power, 100% accurate dark move, it's good for any. Good for any ghost types. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on downstairs. Get some stairs right now. Once this video gets done. Yeah. Okay. Um. See. I right, know that's payback. I'll script. Okay. I don't. Tension for insurance can be found on Route 7. Uh, let me just make note of this. So that way I don't forget. <laughs> I think the world's ending downstairs, but then yet I have no idea because I can barely hear stuff from where I'm at. Alright, next up is um, a version exclusive, so that's why I said it might be a good idea for Sword, that being Surfetched. Yes, Pokemon that we all love. Now, for Surfetched, see this? Base 135 attack. We're gonna use that. So for obvious stab, we are gonna want Brick Break. It can be found at it can be learned at level 40. Or if you want that a little bit earlier, get the TM for it. Um but I just suggest going with Rock Smash until then. And then Brick Break just makes your life a whole lot better. We learn at level 40. Then next up you want um, Leaf Blade can be learned at level 55. Swords Dance can be learned at level 45. And then the only TR for this is Throat Chop, Dark Type, um, Raids, along with the Watch Raider. That's all I'm gonna say. Alright, then next is one of my favorites from this gen. 
not my absolute favorite, but one of my favorites, Obstagoon. I actually have a channel on these named Gene. Comment down below if you know the reference of that. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. But yeah. So, pretty good stats, except that special attack and special defense is mediocre. But that base 90 attack, we're going to use that. So, first off, we want a stab dark technique. We are going to give it Night Slash. Night Slash can be learned as a Linoon as well, but it can also be relearned in any Pokemon Center. I'm going to go see what's going on downstairs. I'll be right back. This is the world's ending. I'm at guys, sorry that took a minute, but uh, my mom's phone was going like crazy. Oh, well, the house phone and her cell phone, so <laughs> I thought the world was ending. <laughs> Alright, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Like I guess I don't script, so deal with it. Okay, nice slash, yep. Um, we want some normal stab, I would go with double edge. If you want to 56, she should take down until then. Twenty base power stab. And next up, we want the only TM is TM for Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw can be found in the Lake of Outrage. <sighs> um, Shadow Claw is a thinny base power, hundred percent accurate physical ghost move, and has a higher chance for crits. And finally, Cross Chop, Kim learn via Mover Learner, 100 base power, 80% accurate though, so be careful. But, eh. Also, if you have any uh, PP ups, power point ups, use one of Cross Chop. That'll help you tremendously. Alright. Then, next up is Age of Slash. Each slash. I mean, how can you not go through Galar at least once and use each slash? I mean, come on. Steel and Ghost type. So, differentiates between attack and special attack and defense and defense. So, yeah, it's a mixed attacker. So, it's just going to be very generic. So, we want Iron Head, where I discussed it. Instead of Shadow Claw, we are going to get Shadow Ball, but I've already talked about that. King Shield is a status move that's pretty much like Protect, but if physical contact is made, attack gets harshly lowered. And finally, Sacred Sword, because why not? It helps against a good amount of Pokemon, I don't think. <laughs> Let's see, uh, it helps against, helps against the ice, but you yeah, are against the type, but yeah, and this power, 100% accurate, I wanted to use it, just common sense. Alright, and last but not least, we have the rock type of this gen, Colossal, mixed attacker, I think is a good good and mixed attacker. I like it. Now, let's go for an obvious stab. We are going to have either um, Flare Blitz or Flamethrower. Go for Flamethrower if you can. Because I don't like the recall from Flare Blitz. So go for Flamethrower if you can. 
Um, that's a TR, so yeah. And for the rock stab, we are going to have rock slide, 75 base power, 90% accurate, so be careful on that. But the rock slide TM can be found on Route 9. Hang on, guys, I gotta go do something. I'll be right back. Find the rock slide TM on Route 9, so pretty late in the game. But until then, probably just use like SmackDown or something. Next up is, of course, the classic Earthquake TR. Like I said, Watch Raider, Ground type raids. Actually, a lot of Rock type raids too, so you can find pretty easy. Until then, just use like Earth Power or something. And finally, the last move we are going to give it is Scald. 80 base power, 100% accurate, water type, special move, with a 30% chance to burn. So it's pretty good. Sorry if I so work out. I'm just trying to come back up the stairs so much. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that is essentially how to copy my team. But, if you guys want a visual representation of how this goes, let's build a team in Showdown. And, Showdown. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the Team Builder, you know, it is all the time. Uh, let's go with uh, National Dex AG, because I just like that. Let's go for... How to copy my team Pokemon Sword Swad <laughs> Sword I spell it right? Yeah I did okay and <laughs> Italian Uh I gave it a miracle water or whatever it was, uh, what the heck did I give it? Mystic Water. For the life of me, I can't remember. Uh, Snipe Shot, uh, Snipe Shot, Air Slash, Shadow Ball, and Ice Beam. Then, let's just... Do this. 252. 252. And 4. I'm not gonna nickname. This is just temporary. And let's go for Corviknight. Which, by the way, um, a little bit of a recommendation. I want to recommend the G Max. Mainly due to because if you're gonna blow a stack and this. Blow out stage hazards on both sides. It's not a good idea. So, uh, what did I give it? 
Hang on, I have my switch right here next to me, so I can just check and see what I had. Currently school bed hunting. Because Hey, while we're in quarantine, might as well go ahead and just uh, you know. Okay, I give it a sharp beak. A sharp beak to boost up drill pack. Alright, I would recommend since so I gave it pressure for its ability because I didn't grab it in ability one, so pressure. And I gave it iron head, drill pack, U-turn, and assurance. So let's uh, do a 252, 252, and a 4. I just boost its highest stat. It is a um, female. Dinner doesn't matter, but I'm just telling you guys the moves, the abilities, held items. Dinner does not matter, but mm, you can go with it if you want. Alright, and the next is Surfetched. Surfetched, I gave it a leak. Boost chance for crits. I gave it Steve Fast because I didn't run for a special ability. Duh. So we give it Brick Break, we give it Leaf Blade, we give it Sword Stance. And finally, we give it Throat Chop. Buff up that tax stat. 252 uh, 252 Wait, no, I want that on the HP, not on the speed And it is a male That is Alright, so the next is Obstagoon In which I gave it a razor claw It has Okay, so this one has guts, and then this one has guts. I wish anyone has reckless. Um, let's see, what did I give it? I give it um, night slash, double edge, uh, cross chop, and shadow claw, uh, shadow claw, and what's Buff up the defense, speed, and lower the special attack. It is a male. Next is Age Slash. Age Slash. We will give it a Rocky Helmet. I admittedly don't know why I gave it a Rocky Helmet, but it works. And let's give it Iron Head. Shadow Ball. Cain Shield and Sacred Sword. Um so we mainly have physical attack, so let's up the physical attack. Up the special defense and lower the speed. And finally for Colossal. Um, I gave it a soft sand to power up earthquake. Soft sand. It has flame body as its ability. And then um, I'm gonna use flare blitz, but try to go for flame if I can. Then rock slide, earthquake, and scald. And then finally, we'll boost up that defense boost up the attack, and load the speed. This female, and there we go. This is the team I have for Pokemon Sword. Now, let's test it out in battle. My phone's beeping at me. What? Oh, come on, you idiot. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, um, 
Let's lead off with Inteleon at the front. And start off with a snipe shot. Sword stance. I use snipe shot. <sighs> Freaking focus sash, man. Oh, no. Nope. I'm not doing that. But I'll give it a test. See how it goes. <sighs> Please switch in the wrong one of the rock types. That would help me a lot. Since the focus sash is consumed, I can't use it again. I'm starting the timer. Alright. Uh, let's go for a second snipe shot. Oh, shoot. Um. Off to Goon. Night Flash. You gotta be kidding me. How? how? Just, just how? How that help? How that happen? Alright, Asia Slash. Shadow Ball. Okay, so we both use Shadow Ball. Big deal. Boom. KO the Alexander. Alright, and this is gonna KO me. I just know it. Wait a second. Oh, that's a good idea. I can't shield. Pew. <laughs> I lower your attack. What? I broke it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Screw you. Okay, uh, let's go for Colossal. I mean, I'm probably gonna lose, but whatever. This is clear that, eh, yeah, it works sometimes, but not for every occasion. Like competitiveness, but, eh. This is just to showcase. I'm not gonna survive the next hit, so I'm gonna switch to Surf Fetched. And pull a strategic move called Throat Chop. And, ooh, Throat Chop. Alright, well, he's got me 3v3, break out 4v2. And I'm dead. Whatever. I still have my Knight. With pressure and drill pack. So yeah, it doesn't work for every occasion, like competitive, but it still works really good. Alright, so we got a Shine Trance Arm Sandstream. Okay, I will Iron Head you. Fire Punch, Iron Head. Okay. Fire Punch, and it's a crit. Uh, I guess it's right of your right now. Scald, and I, I did. Whatever. Eh, that's fine. So you guys might like to see that. That brings like an earthquake. See you guys in the next video. Peace.